When solving an equation where the unknown is in index form, one strategy we should always consider is using logs. In this case, it's slightly different to the previous examples because our unknowns are involved in two separate terms. We've got 2 to the power 2x and 2 to the power x plus 2. So we need to think of a strategy that's best to incorporate logs into this equation. One way to do this is to put the 12 on the right hand side of the equation so we can group the terms involving x on the left hand side. Once we've done that, another possible move is to take logs of both sides. Unfortunately when we do that, there's no log law that'll help us separate the 2 to the power 2x and the 2 to the power x plus 2 that are within the log. So this is a dead end. We need to think up some other strategy that'll help us solve this equation. If we go back to the original equation, we notice that one of the terms involves an index of 2x and another term involves an index with x plus 2, or if we break it down further, just a single x term. What we can do is look at breaking up this equation even further so that we can consider 2 to the x as opposed to just the x. We can do this by using some index laws. The first term becomes 2 to the x all squared and the second term becomes 2 to the 2 multiplied by 2 to the x. Using index laws we can check to see that the first line and second line do match. And the benefit of that is we now can rewrite this expression like a quadratic. If we let some arbitrary letter a equal 2 to the x, we can see that our equation becomes a squared minus 4a minus 12 equals 0. It's a quadratic equation and we can solve this with factorization. To solve this, we're looking for two numbers that multiply to negative 12 and add up to negative 4. And if we do that, we find that the numbers are negative 6 and positive 2. And we place those in the bracket, so we have a minus 6 in one bracket and a plus 2 in the other bracket. Now to solve this equation equal to 0, we have a product of two expressions and one of those brackets must equal 0. So either a minus 6 equals 0, which means a equals 6, or a plus 2 equals 0, which means a equals negative 2. Now we need to remind ourselves that we're not solving for a, we're solving for x. So we've got to go back to our original statement that a equals 2 to the x. So now we're solving 2 to the x equals 6, or 2 to the x equals negative 2. So if 2 to the x equals 6, we can break that down using logs. We can take a log of both sides and say log of 2 to the x equals log of 6. And breaking that down further using properties we've seen in previous videos, we get x equals log of 6 divided by log of 2. Now for the other equation that we're trying to solve, we've got 2 to the x equals negative 2. And if we follow the same process as in the case with 2 to the x equals 6, we get that x equals log of negative 2 over log of 2. Now we haven't stipulated the base of the log, but when it's not written it's base 10. And we are asking the question, is it possible to have log base 10 of negative 2? In other words, raise 10 to a power, so it equals negative 2. In this case it isn't, so the log of a negative number is not possible. So our only solution is that x equals log of 6 over log of 2.